Hi there, Sunil. It's Andrew once again. Let's jump straight in and correct your task one first. Thank you for getting both of these into me, by the way. We do like to correct both at once. So as I've said before, with these task one corrections, we need to describe the graph as accurately as possible. And on that note, I would say that we need to state the different age groups in the intro. We need to let people know what the age groups are. So what we could say here, and then we don't need to use this because we could say the chart shows the percentage of calorie intake from four different sources for men in the UK of three different age groups. The age groups measured were 0 to 24, 25 to 49, and the over 50s. And then we need to be a bit more specific than this because we, when we say the mid 20s, we, um, we mean anywhere between sort of 23 and 28. But we, it's not re it's an ambiguous term, is what I'm saying. We need to stay away from ambiguity and be very specific. I know this seems specific, but in spoken English, the mid-twenties is a range of ages right in the middle. So what I would say is the majority of calories consumed by people under the age of 25 is from dairy products, while for those older... Or for those between 25 and 50, the main source of calories is meat. Finally, for those over the age of 50, pulses represented the majority of caloric intake. Here, in terms of dairy, this is good, I like this, consumption consistently decreases with age. There we go. In terms of dairy, consumption consistently decreases with age is the academic way to say exactly what you've said there. And then I would use a semicolon and say um, Okay, so it's not when men turn 25 um, Statistically speaking, we're talking about the entire age group. So it's an average taken from the whole group. We're not talking about the... Um, it's not that upon their 25th birthday, they go, Oh, I don't like dairy anymore. Let's just eat meat now. Um, it is an average taken of the whole group. So we need to talk about the group overall and not about the choices they make upon... Ch to upon a birthday. So in terms of dairy, consumption consistently decreases with age, beginning at 42% for the under 25s, dropping to 25% for those aged 25 to 50, and reducing further to only 15% for males over the age of 50. A similar pattern was observed for vegetables, wherein consumption consistently decreased across the three groups from 20% to 15% to 10%. That would have been fine. In terms of meat and pulses, the proportion of total caloric intake fluctuated throughout life. Fluctuated means an irregular variation fluctuated throughout life. The consumption of meat increased from 20% to 50%, but then dropped down to 20% once more, whereas pulses, or whereas the consumption, and also, sorry, whereas is one word, whereas the consumption of pulses decreased from 18% to 10%, and then rose dramatically to 65%. We can say here, overall, it is clear that each age group had a strong preference for the main source of pulses, yet none of the groups preferred vegetables, 
which remained low in consumption throughout the periods. That would have been all good. So I'm saying we should increase our use of academic language, but actually your work is coming along really well. I, I really like some of the some of the phrasings you've done here. I like in terms of dairy, in terms of meat and pulses. You have you have this mix of good and I mean where in as well is a, a fantastic word to see. We just need to see a little bit more consistency and a little bit more objectivity, I think. So listen carefully to the recording and take some of the phrasings that I used and apply them in future to future task one responses. The, the, the language that we use to describe numbers and statistics is actually quite small. There isn't much of it. So once you learn it about increases, decreases, consistency, um, surges, dramatic increases, all of these are, um, once we know them, it can be very comfortable to use them. So get some practice in, send us your next essays, and I'll speak to you very soon.